Oh, I'm back, beginning of turn eight. Interesting thing that just happened here. Uh, there's a modifier for initiative for most of the scenarios. It gives the weight of the overall initiative for a given scenario to a particular side. And so you might have a situation where one side gets a plus 20, another side gets a minus 20, or just one side will get just a plus 20 when they do their initiative roll. So um, we're using staggered initiative here, which means that on a per formation basis, so in this case for the Germans, they have two formations, we're going to activate uh, a formation first. Uh, you, after we put all our uh, command commands down, all the sort of good stuff, then the team that gets to fire first will activate one of their formations, and that formation will then fire, and then we'll roll again for initiative to see who will fire next, either a Soviet formation or a German formation. Well, the modifiers are plus 20 and minus 20 for the Germans, so plus 20 for the Soviets. <laughs> and and the, the Germans are in a really tough spot here because their smoke has just faded off. They've just got these two here, which uh, allows a few clear shots in uh, these half tracks and infantry. And I was thinking, are they going to get chewed up a little bit here this turn? Well, lo and behold, the Soviets roll 50, they roll 13 on their initiative, and the Germans roll 65. So they win the first initiative. Now they're going to do something really cool, and I think this is correct. They're going to activate their company and they're going to fire at these guys and hopefully they'll hit them and, and do some damage and because they've got these fire markers on them and all that sort of stuff we've got lines of sight to them and we well we've got lines of sight but we can they're spotted as well then i'm going to fire my smoke from my tanks here and then add, put them across here hopefully and that'll degrade their ability to shoot all perfectly reasonable now, there is, a, and there is a thought that I have that the initiative potentially should be a little more granular. And I was thinking, and it, the first thought was, oh, well, we should all be all the way down to the by command chip, you know, role for initiative for each command chip. Who's going to go first? That would be enormously heavy on wristage and tons of die rolls per turn. And I think probably take away a lot from the game to make it a bit of a drag. I'm not going to do that, but what I am considering at some point, and here's a scenario set up for, I think for the previous scenario, actually 19, not 20. You can see how they're broken into groups here, first company, uh, light tank. I was thinking that it'd be smart to do something like, uh, something similar to having each platoon role for its initiative. And I think that might be the right level of granularity that I'm looking for for initiative. It then starts to swing things back in favor of the over, who over you know an overall situation has the initiative. And it it gets rid of this fire then move thing which is just it's a hack. It's really not well thought through and I can pro I can certainly see why historically it is done that way. The guy with the initiative is the guy that is going to fire first. Uh, but I think from a gameplay and a game balance standpoint, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, that's not really what I want to talk about. I just was kind of excited that I think uh, I, I think this little this little. Uh, uh, mechanism we're pulling here where we're going to fire, uh, shoot at the Soviets, then pop smoke and get into cover is very cute and I'm, and I'm way too clever for, for, for myself. So anyway, we'll, we'll think about this platoon based initiative uh, for firing and then how that, and we'll talk about another time perhaps about, actually what I'll just say right now, I think also then with movement what you're supposed to do is then go in reverse order. So keep track of the order of all the things that you, you went in on the fire uh, phase and then go in reverse order for movement. That is a huge pain in the ass and I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna roll for initiative on a per company, per formation basis for movement as well. And we're just gonna do it that way. That to me makes more sense than the current modified rules or optional rules. All right, later.